throughout all the all the games that I've seen it. Like the rule sets, uh, the game is able to be played across a variety of different rule sets. I mean, we saw what was a Smash conference with the whole entire uh, underdog boost. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the underdog <laughs> boost uh, controversy. That tournament was still hype. I mean, it sucks that the players were playing on a rule set that they didn't actually know was the rule set, which is terrible if you think about it. But at the end of the day, if no one had actually paid attention and knew that, uh, or and didn't know that that rule set that rule was changed. The matches themselves were still really exciting to watch. So this game, Ultimate, has a pretty big threshold on what's able to do. Now, that's a, kind of a testament to the players and what they're able to do. Right. Okay, here we go. We got I'm Hit, and well, that's supposed to be Mago, but I guess uh, you know, new game, new tag. New tag. Nice. Morbid Carnivorous. I'm gonna just call it Morbid for for now. Yeah, Mago is definitely easier to say, but here we go. Uh, right now, yeah, we'll, we'll go with uh, Morbid's a little easier than Carnivorous too. So we go Morbid and I'm Hit. And oh my god, Bowser just throwing out that forward smash and holding it. That's yeah. uh, always terrifying. That move. So much power, so much pop. Yep, a little bit unwise to use it at the ledge, like I said before. New mechanics, you're able to get around those types of situations very easily in this version of the game. Bowser, actually a very interesting character. He has armor on basically anything that uses his arms or legs. Yeah. He's got either intangibility or he's got armor. For example, like there, most of his moves, there's a 4% uh, base uh, percentage threshold to be able to power through a lot of moves, for example. So you can withstand like a jab or something like that. Of course, on the other side of it, you saw, you know, Almar being one of the smallest characters, if not the smallest character uh, in the game. And, you know, it makes it very difficult for a character that like Bowser trying to work so much off that forward or to really put out a uh, you know good spacing and actually hitting that low of a target. Yeah, it's very interesting to see uh, Bowser in this iteration of the game. You know, he doesn't really have his Koopa set up anymore. He used, he used to be a grappler. Now they kind of change all the heavies to make sure that you don't really get that except for maybe Incineroar. But at the same time, it's like. What's his game plan now? You know, like you gave him his armor, you gave him his like uh, his like tough guy and stuff like that. So, what's his uh, whole game plan gonna be? Is it just the idea to like to try and power through like a lot of the like small hitboxes that come your way and then like survive longer as a big character? Because he is the uh, he is the second heaviest uh, character in the game, if I recall correctly. If not the first. I, 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 I got the top two mixed up. You I know, I think as far as uh, you know, uh, plans go, uh, Bowser's not hurting for kill options at all. You know. Just run up and uh, Koopa Claw, that's a kill option. Back here is a kill option. Up here is a kill option. Uh, you know, you name it, he's got the kill option for it. Yep. Yeah, this is a definitely... Okay! All right, like that, he actually dropped shield just to get hit by it. So that way he didn't get the, the shield drop on it. I'm surprised he didn't get a parry out of that. It means he uh, dropped it a little too early. Yep. There's only about five frames of uh, openness for you to get... Or maybe six frames to get the, the parry in. So it's definitely difficult to do, not easy by any stretch of imagination. Oh, what a good purple. Because you saw Morbid trying to set up the back air situation right there. Oh, it gets a downer to take it out, but yeah. That purple ended up saving I hip and let him put on just a little bit more damage. And of course I'm hip. Yeah, there's the white putting on so much damage. I don't yeah, there's enough tilt to clear it. Yep. That's kind of something that determines a lot of the LMR matchups. What move? the uh, character has to uh, remove that white pigment because it does so much damage. Yep. And if you have that hitbox that can just cover your body, it yeah. definitely works out. I remember in Smash 4, the Rosalina down tilt used to cover her whole body, so just to click off <laughs> pigment every time. But down smash, still not enough to do it, actually. I think that was a purple, too. Yeah. <laughs> Bowser is so heavy. I don't know what happened. I feel like that should have hit a little bit harder. And now that's the second chance for Mago to get a breath of life, bring things back in. I like that, though, from I'm Hip, trying to get him to up tilt and put him in end lag so that he can get a grab and try and finish off this stock here. Yeah, he's fiending for either that blue throw or the uh, purple hit. One of the two. Yeah, you're really thinking. Red has some power to it too, so if he gets a fair off that, it's kind of it's kind of scary to think about too. Oh, he gets a grab though. Back throw off. If he gets one packer off right. safe, that's even something available for Bowser to do. But oh, he rolls through it, gets that frame trap or that frame hole on the forwards match. Yep. It's right through. And I'm hip just that purple is the saving grace. But he's in a little bit of trouble. Like, oh man, good pivot grab. Definitely not as strong as it was in Smash 4, but still a very great paper grab. Nonetheless, definitely went deep in for that. Now he's got to get himself out of this advantage state. Loads for the landing there. Is he going to be able to seal out this stock, though? He brought it all the way back. One good hit from either of these players. We'll be able to seal out this first game. We still got four minutes on the clock. Going to be really difficult to see either of these two giant pull out of timeouts. We're going to see a last hit situation here. Yeah, you see, very subtly, uh, I'm Hip was doing a lot of Pikmin management right there. I think he's trying to get a purple out of there, uh, or at least, you know, 
Yeah, he lost one of his blues. He got that yellow. There's the oh. forward smash. Yeah, he took the bait, just went deep in for it with that grab. And I think he went for the, the side B, actually. Yeah. And I hit just went around and was like, nope, I am pointing at you, and my Pikmin are going to go sick at you. Yeah, I wonder if that was a, a farm for a yellow to get a longer forward smash, just to cover the range on that approach? Or yeah, if know, that man. was just a, he happened to have it at the time, and he threw it out just at the right moment. Right. Who knows with the Almar mains, their brains are just... <laughs> They're out of control. They're just, they, they know too much. They know something about the universe that we don't, which is uh, their Pikmin lineup at any given time. Right. You'd be like, see, uh, I'm hip on the street. Hey, what, what, what's your Pikmin lineup right now? He's like, blue, white, purple. <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. All righty. We're going back to Pokemon Stadium, actually. Oh, and he just goes in immediately for the grab. Let's see if he gets something out of it. He gets the fair, but you're able to uh, Pikmin armor right through it. And he tried to go down with the dare, too. That almost was incredibly deadly yeah, for Morbid right there. It looked like a Brawl Classic right there with the down special to... Yeah, uh, super armor, and then, oh, he got him in a jab box situation. was able to get him off stage. Marbid kind of in a red alert situation. Definitely. And I think that some of those situations, uh, when Morbid has I'm hip off stage after he's gone a little bit too hard, he's, you know, he's got to try maybe press the advantage because of Bowser's powerful aerials off stage and all Myers, you know, recovery, not having a hitbox on it. Alrighty, now there's uh, a lot of damage when we put onto uh, Morbid right here. It definitely just allows I'm Hip to be able to just stay back and just to be far away uh, from Bowser, trying to force him to approach and get some like pivot force smashes. Uh, ah, ballsy, ballsy fire breath. Oh, but, yeah. but I'm Hip takes the stay or takes the stock. That, that fire breath actually put him in that bad position. He was stuck in the end lag. They went for a panic side B to try and reversal. I'm his aggression, but just the backers he able to go through first. Uh, very, he got the spot dodge out of the out of the uh, Bowser bomb. Barely got away from it. Oof! The purple puts him in the tech day situation, and because of that active hitbox. And then a forward smash. Oh, and now I'm him running away with it. It's, it might be garbage time coming into the coming to this match. He got that purple. Oh man, so much damage. So wow. much damage, two purples and a white man. That's crazy stuff. Oh, but he went in all the way off the top. That was some crazy He's stuff. He's got that castle in the sky, the whirling fortress into the air. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you're down two stocks, might as well try to go for some kind of crazy play. It's like, if I'm going to lose, I might as well put myself in a Twitch clip, maybe get, yeah. Sir, to get Sir Toasty to GIF something right there. Yeah, he's able to forward it out of that situation. He's battled himself back onto the stage, but those Pikmin are just draining life faster than... You know, faster than Morbid would uh, care for. Right. Oh, but the up smash. That's going to be able to close it out in that boxing scenario. And, uh, yeah, that's I'm Hip taking the set. Yep.